Well, I guess we're back. Now, I know you're asking yourself, did you just say? You don't know what I said. I don't know what I said. These videos just come out and they just drop. Some pre-recorded, some not pre-recorded. I will tell you this, though. We are back for sure. I've actually been gone for a very, very long time. Um, I know the video said a year. It's been eight months. About eight months since I last sat down like I am right now. Tie on, shirt on, and the necklace on. You see, this right here costs more than a pair of socks. Yeah, we own that right now. But uh, for real, yeah. So it's been about eight, eight and a half, nine months, somewhere in that area. Since I last got in front of this camera, sat down, and put on a hat, tie, and shirt. Uh, I actually took the desk you see behind. You see Big Dog in the back. Yeah. 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 I got him a while back, but I never got to use him. So he there. He there for sure. But, uh, yeah. It's funny because I took down this entire table. This entire table. I had a whole thing of ties and a whole thing of... um suits things i took all that down um i now have something here i have a chair that i'm going to possibly use but i cleared out everything my drum set my piano i took this entire table down and there was nothing up here so i haven't been up here in a while but we're back you know i'm thug i'm thug maxing now i'm on my uh skip bayless kind of you know stuff my so, you know, we're doing something different around here. I'm thug maxing now. I'm a thug. In case you didn't know, if you can't tell by my voice, I'm a thug now. And that's what we're going to do here. We're going to thug it out. But no. um, Yeah. So, honestly, I do want to say that, you know, I was scared. I kind of ran away for a little bit. Um, those last few videos, I was just so out of it. So, uh Oh, down on myself, des uh, not desperate, but uh, depressed. Oh, man, it was, it's been a long journey back to this point. A lot of going outside, a lot of trying to figure myself out. I got into running for a little bit. Now I kind of speed walk or whatever you call it. Because I kind of hurt my heel. You know, I'm, you know, big guy. So, yeah, working out. Um obviously working a different job last time i was around here i was working at the i was doing blue collar job you know so working outside with my hands now we back to uh i wouldn't say white collar but i'm in the medical field um you know finishing up stuff but uh yeah finishing up my nursing degree so i'm probably gonna continue down the nursing path trying to working towards my bsn and then maybe do dmp maybe not i don't know but uh yeah that's what we're doing now we're trying to work towards that so a lot different than what i'm used to but um 12 hour days y'all know if you work in the medical field and uh so that's kind of what i wanted i was working i was doing a job where i was just <laughs> paperwork pencil pushing all day every day didn't enjoy it only eight hours a day. I like 12 hour days, so it just works better for me. Um, I'm gonna try to work as much as I can, but I'm sure there'll be days where I only work three days a week, four days a week. You know how it goes. Um, I'm gonna try to do five, but you know, the, the overtime's just not always there. So I'm just gonna try to get what I can get in, you know. And uh, when I'm not doing that, make these videos. Um, one day we'll get back to live streaming. Once I'm really on a set schedule, I just started. Not too long ago. Mom. So that's the update for my life. Now back for the coward stuff. Yeah, man, I got I ran away because I was um uh, man, I had put all the weight back on and I was just Man, I ain't gonna lie, I was just embarrassed. I mean it was it was just really embarrassed. And it's been so damn long, man. It's been years, I feel like since I started this channel. And uh but what I didn't want to do it's run away from accountability. I think I was really, really afraid to face y'all on camera because I was really afraid that I'm never going to get this shit done. And that's still a possibility. But I'd rather do that on camera for you guys than to not do it. I feel like that's escaping accountability. 
because you know there's a lot of you there's a lot of YouTube <laughs> there's a lot of personalities that I watch on mainstream media and I guess YouTube and there's a lot of guys who when they're going through stuff five days a week they got to be on camera whether they gain weight lose weight um, going through life trying to put a smile on five days a week 280 days out of the year because normally they're not there around I watch a lot of sports so they're not there during the summers and stuff like that but every day they got to show up you know and keep it doing stuff for holidays and stuff like that then dang near like a government job uh, <laughs> and this is uh before I continue this is weird I don't work for the first time I don't work a job where I get holidays off um I can't remember the last time I had a job with no holidays so I don't care I'm getting that holiday pay um I've I've done obviously y'all remember I worked in the school system and so I'm, I'm 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 over having summers off. I'm over having holidays off. I want to make money. You gotta say that's all I really care about. Um, so I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna do my job the best I can. And um, that's another thing. I'll continue back where we were. Just trying to escape accountability. It's just not gonna help nobody. I feel like the best way for me to help you guys is to stay on camera and just be honest. Whether I'm gaining weight or losing weight, and I'm doing it all here on camera. I'm just going to be honest, and I think it's going to be easier for me to do it on camera than off because I feel like you just get in that slump where you, because the longer you stay off camera, the longer you just kind of fall into your old ways. And one of the things is I can't stay idle. Even though I was working a lot, I still miss being on camera and on my days off, I didn't know what to do. And I would fall apart on my days off and being serious. Like my brain just couldn't wrap around not making videos, not live streaming. Um, and it's been a tough outing. That's why I took that's why I took this whole table down and everything, man. I was going through it. Um and I tried to just clear this thing out and these my freaking monitors were collecting dust and everything. I cleared off this whole table and there was nothing in this, nothing in my office anymore. All that stuff I put back up back there. And so it's just like. I think in this life you should do what you feel like you're called to do. But that doesn't mean you can doesn't mean you got to be perfect. And I feel like I was doing for me personally. I just felt like I was trying to take the easy way out. The hard way. I mean, the, the hard way out would be sitting on this camera, becoming a 600 pound man and failing right in front of your eyes with everybody's tearing me to pieces um the easy way out is just to stop showing up on camera and don't take any accountability and never come back because i'm too scared to show my face and that's just not how the world works you know um you got to learn to go through uh, adversity and stuff like that and though it's been months since i showed my face like this now y'all saw the whole videos of me when i was recording the weight loss stuff and all that and all those videos outside but this is the first time I've sat down and done this in a while. <clears throat> so, anyway, yeah, we're going to get back to it. Uh, there's a lot of stuff I've seen. Um, obviously, I'm going to be dropping quite a few videos to catch back up. So, y'all are about to get blistered with videos, baby. Because I got a lot of catching up to do. I don't like how many videos I'm behind. Y'all know I used to drop about five a week. And then I went down to one a week. And then I went down to like... Well, y'all were seeing the videos once a week. But I was making those like two three weeks some of those videos i made months ahead of time um we're not gonna do that again i do make videos a little early because i kind of obviously if y'all can't tell by now um sometimes i make videos in bulk um sometimes i just make i don't ever so as you can see i'm also in my new era i used to wear black and red we are now in a new era of blue and this may change um, but I will keep it. I'll try to stick with the same attire just like I did with the black and red because I do care about image. And that's why I'm still rocking the hat. As you can see, this is a custom hat. Oh, um, My thing got twisted up here. I think I'm wearing my hat. I think I'm wearing my hat backwards. Y'all was just going to let me fail. Yeah, so as you can see, bow, okay? Y'all can see the what kind of change, and we got it right down here. 
what can I change? I did change my YouTube name to change. Um, man, I was just going through a bunch of stuff. Y'all saw my freaking picture, my profile picture. It's just too. Um, and that's why we're kind of having this whole talk today. And we're going to be a little bit more relaxed. No time restraint here. Um, man, it's just, you know, you get caught up in the numbers. You get caught up in trying to be perfect. You get caught up in, well, if I don't get 100 views, I'm a failure. And at this point, and I'm being honest, I should take it this way. I should try to shoot for something. I've been doing YouTube for too damn long. The first five years was just for fun. These last two years have been real serious. And so I need to be pumping the numbers. But that means I need to be a better content creator. I need to talk about topics y'all want to hear about. Um, I did get in this place where I was just talking about stuff that really didn't matter. And I don't think I can help people that way because I, I, I can't live in a, uh, <laughs> I can't live in a bubble. I can't live in a bubble where I think that, um, what you guys want to hear is just me talking about random shit that y'all can't relate to. Cause some of you guys I'm younger than some of you guys I'm older than. And so it'd be stupid of me to only talk from my perspective. I need to. I need to talk about Ice Spice. I need to talk about Glorilla. I need to talk about Hawk to a girl. I need to talk about uh, Sketch being a femboy, you know, and that whole thing going on with him. I need to talk about all these things that I've truly missed out on. P. Diddy, all these things that honestly, I'll tell you a few months ago, I didn't want to talk about. When I walked away from the camera, I did not want to talk about this stuff anymore because part of me believed that it was just stupid. Part of me believed that I was dumb. Um, part of me believed y'all guys didn't want to talk about this. And there was a part of me that stayed away because I felt like I was smarter than I was. I was on an ego trip towards the end. Um, uh -huh. And so I felt like it felt like I, I felt like trying to keep up with the pop culture was dumb. And I have over these <laughs> last while, man, I have watched a ton of videos I really tried to sit down and learn that you can't avoid these things. I'm not old enough to just talk from pure experience. I'm just being honest with you. Some people can do that. I just don't have enough experience in life for me to just talk purely from experience. Now, I've been through a lot, but those stories got told already. I've made over a thousand videos. So up to this point, there's only so much I can tell y'all. Now I can tell y'all more about the nursing side of life. You know what I mean? But I can't tell y'all about being a nurse. I've been a nurse for years. I haven't been a nurse for 20 years. I just I just started in the field. I'm not even in the field like that yet. You know what I mean? So it's just it's just a whole weird thing. And um, I didn't know where my life was going. Even back then, um, as y'all remember, um, I stepped away from school and everything after, you know, that happened. I don't have to re-explain that, but y'all y'all know what it is. Re-explain. <laughs> Explain that again. And so I, I was pretty lost. Um, I really thought I was just going to go down the YouTube route. And I want to say this as well. I still want to make those videos that I was making before I left. Those big documentary kind of videos. Those are fun, but I'm not going to do it on this channel. Um, don't know quite what channel I'm going to do that on, but that's going to be a separate thing. Um, I still want to make those, but I really want to focus on catching up over here. And I'm not going to sit here and say, um, I will go only way, only way I can see myself really dedicate myself to that again is if I was a part-time worker and YouTube was kind of helping with that, but, um, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to wait until I have, until this, this channel is either very successful or it stays where it's at. Until then, I'm just going to stay in the field that I'm working in. I still think there's a lot to learn. I love talking with people. I don't necessarily like what I'm doing because it's not my uh, it's it's not my area. I work with individuals. If y'all, you, you know, I work with I work with um, <sighs> trying to explain it in a way that people can understand. Um, I just work with people who need help. I just work with people who truly need help, if you know what I mean. And I've worked in that field and I've done it for all ages and I'm just kind of overdoing that. I'm pretty much doing the same kind of stuff, but in a different way. I used to be more of an educator helping people who needed help. Now I'm more of a fit hands on kind of person who need with people who need help. And so I'm just on the other side 
of it. You know what I mean? I actually have to physically help these people know where they're going, if you understand what I'm trying to say. So I don't like that because I've done it for so many years in the school setting, all the way from little five-year-olds to college. So I've kind of done it already. And now I'm doing it with more people who are adults. And so I'm over that field, but that's just, hey, I have to get my foot in somewhere. And so that's what I'm doing. But my, you know, I kind of want to work in a different kind of field. I'm not exactly sure what I want to do. Part of me wants to do like labor and delivery. Uh, some of me wants to do be a midwife. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to end up. I'm not going to sit here and give no stories. I don't know. I could die tomorrow. Let's be honest. I always got to think with that mindset. Doesn't mean I'm not going to go for it, but I don't have a straight answer. Life can change in so many ways. And who knows? I might leave the nursing field altogether. I don't I don't make any grand gestures like I used to before. I don't make any grand gestures. I don't make any assumptions anymore, assuming that I know what I want to do with my life. I know where I want to head. I know what I'm doing now. I'm going to go to school and finish this route. But life can change in 10 years. So. I don't know, but I at least have direction. I didn't have it before. I just wanted to do a lot of stuff, but making money is important to me. Taking care of my family is even more important to me. Um, but this is what I love doing. Um, you know, I was watching, was I watching a video or talking to somebody? One of the two. I do both a lot. I would say, I thought, let's just say I was talking to somebody or I heard somebody say this. You know, it's the whole do what you love thing, but somebody was saying it in a different way. Just find something you love. Oh, yes. Okay. I was talking to somebody. I was talking to a young man and he was saying, I feel like if you do what you love, uh, he said he's going to find a job that he loves. And I said, you can't find a job that you love, but at some point it becomes a job. You know, at some point, there's no way to avoid something being a job. It's just how the world works. Even though I love doing YouTube, even though I was getting paid pennies, I still loved it, but it did turn into a job day in and day out making those videos. It's just, it's a lot. And so that's why that break that I took for so long helped me in a few ways. Uh, One way is going back to pop culture. Stop thinking I'm smarter than everybody else and listen to what other people have to say. Two, I need to talk about topics you guys care about can't just be what I care about because I can't help anybody if I only talk about stuff that I think is relevant. I need to talk about stuff that is relevant. So I got to be better about that. So I still will mix in YouTubers that you guys may or may not know. I love doing that because I love listening to other content creators, but I also need to talk about pop culture. I need to talk about, like I said, the bigger things going on. Um, So And then one extra thing that I'm going to change also is Normally, I stay off of um, good and evil and stuff like that, Um, but I don't think it's going to be beneficial if I do that, if I just steer away. So I will go more into what I think agendas are, such as, just to give you all kind of an example, uh, the agenda that's being being pushed in hip hop. Now, I've talked about this before, but I didn't talk about the evilness of it. Um, I think that what they're pushing in hip hop is really hurting the community. I think the things that glo- even, and I'll talk about this right now for a little bit, for a couple of seconds. So Glorilla, y'all see what she, they're doing with Glorilla. Y'all see what they're doing with Sexy Red. Glorilla has, and I got no problem with marketing, but you see how she's being pushed to do all these other things and say all these other things, you know what I mean? And talk, and you know how the culture is pushing. I got a, I got another dude with dreads, another who, light boy with some waves or a brown boy with some waves, stuff like that. Pushing the whole hookup culture on our women all the time. You got all the men talking about drugs, talking about killing, talking about all that stuff. And it's just, it's an agenda. It's an agenda. And I've talked about it before and I told you it was killing us, but I now truly believe even deeper. It is really an agenda. I, at first I used to, I, I used to put it more on the artist's. But now I'm starting to, now I am, now I believe that these artists are being told to do this. I used to more believe that they wanted to talk about this stuff. But now I know for sure they're being pushed because even the most evil mother effers, okay, okay, don't want to talk about, well, maybe not the most evil mother, but I'm talking about even the people who are still 
may want to shoot a gun. People who do have sex with a lot of women, even they want to talk about something different. Even they want to rap about something different. It's, it just can't be the same thing every day. Women don't want to talk about getting piped down when they got kids. They don't want to talk about that every day. Not every single woman in rap wants to talk about that every day for 10 years straight. Eventually, they want to be like, hey, I want my, my daughter to grow up to be a doctor or to be a lawyer or be a manager somewhere or own her own business or work as a veterinarian. <laughs> Whatever it may be, I don't really care. Because I always pick the big examples, but these people can just work at a call center and be a director there, be a director of a call center. It doesn't matter. But I'm sure they don't want their daughters to grow up to get piped down by every man they come across. Only these sick, demented, disgusting women would want their daughters to get piped down and talk about getting piped down. Listen, I would not want my son to come to me and talk about rapping, and shooting, and killing people. I don't want my son to talk to me about that. I don't want him to be an evil person on the streets, keeping it thug, being a thug. I want him to be like me, a thug on camera, okay? I'm a square. I'm thug maxing, but I'm a square, okay? And I want him to be that. I like the little, I like, I like the little ice, okay? I like, I like the way it looks, but <laughs> I ain't no thug, and it shouldn't rep. this kind of stuff shouldn't have to represent thugs. Okay, you know what I mean? It shouldn't have to represent, oh, I'm a gangster. Okay, it shouldn't even have to represent I'm black. It should be just something you like. I like jewelry, okay? I don't like jewelry on my wrist like that. I'm like, I'm not going to have no iced out watches, iced out bread. But I've always liked necklaces. Always liked ne necklaces, okay? And I just thought that for the channel, this is perfect. You know what I mean? Perfect for the channel because I'm representing myself here. And uh, so I think that should always be a thing. Um, I kind of got way off topic. It's supposed to be about me, but I'm just letting y'all know what y'all in store for. And so, yeah, man. And I've actually been looking into the jewelry stuff and how they kind of push us in the community to buy. A, it's different for every community because every community is different. They have different culture. My community is more jewelry. Other communities, maybe Sephora and all that kind of stuff. Starbucks. You know what I'm talking about. You know, the places it may be. Um, the shoes, the suits, it may be a certain shirt, Supreme, it doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, they're going to figure out how to make money, no matter what color you are. But I know get buying jewelry and stuff like that, it's, it could be definitely be a scam. It would definitely, would I ever recommend somebody go spend $5,000 on a chain? Only if you can afford it. And when I say afford it, I don't mean like barely afford it. I mean, if you can buy a $5,000 chain, I'm talking about at most, that's one week of work. I'm serious. If you can buy a $5,000 chain, I think you need to be making about three. I just use this same rule of thumb, and I know it's not completely correct, okay? But if I say if I wanted to keep it as simple as possible, for you to be able to afford that, to be able to buy it one time, one you, need, you should be able to afford to be able to replace it if it got stolen the next day. If you couldn't buy it again the, tomorrow, it's too expensive. Next, you need to be making four to five times whatever that costs. I'm serious. Serious. Now I can't now you can't do the math on everything. I'm not saying if you you can't do that math on every single thing. I heard somebody say 30 times. 30 is too much because that's saying like if you wanted to buy a pack of ramen, that's one dollar. You need to be making three hundred times that. Okay. You have rent and stuff. Okay, so sometimes ramen is what you got. With a 30, no, with 300 times. Sorry, somebody said they were talking about chains and stuff, and they were like, Hey, you know what? If you want to buy a ten thousand dollar chain, you got to be making 300 times that. I'm like, That's 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 stupid. You can't make 300 times anything you want to buy. That's too much. You can't say if you need to buy a pack of ramen that's one dollar, you need to be making 300 dollars a day to be able to buy that one pack of ramen. Okay, that's a little wild because not everybody's making 300 dollars a day. Okay, that's 300, that's 1500 dollars a week. That is $6,000 a month. That's $72,000 a year. People ain't making that. Okay, so I wouldn't say 300 times. I say if you want to buy a $5,000 chain, probably need to be making about twenty dollars to $30,000 a month. Because then that means you can make that roughly in a week. That's something that's affordable. It's the same thing with rent. You should be able to pay rent in one week of work or maybe two weeks bi-weekly. You should be able to pay your rent in one check. Your rent should not cost you a month worth of work. That's too much to me. 
I understand we all live at different levels, but that's just my rule of thumb. So, if you can't afford to buy it again, pretty much, you probably shouldn't get it. All the stuff I buy now, like if this mic broke today, I could buy it again tomorrow. You know what I mean? If And a lot of this stuff is more nickel and dime. It's not all expensive stuff. Like that dog back there, I could obviously buy that if it fell off the table and broke. You know, that's what you need to do. And I'm not saying I'm perfect. Okay, I just started getting my life back together these last few months, man. I tell you, I was getting my credit score up. I've been getting my debt down. And I still got a little ways to go. But I've really been trying to focus on working as much as I can, paying off debt. That's my main goals right now. And then we'll move on to other stuff such as brokerage accounts, investments. And I want to help you guys with all that. But, you know, I got to learn it for myself. So, Pretty much to to put everything together in a nice, decent box. I believe for me to be as accountable as possible to keep staying up in front of this camera. Because I feel like if I tell everybody who's overweight or going through something, you need to get off camera and stay away. And like I said, I stayed away for eight to nine months. I don't remember exactly what day I stopped. But I can tell you it was eight to nine months ago. And I did take my break. Um, but then I, obviously I had made that video that y'all already saw. If you haven't noticed, some of my videos are scheduled, <laughs> just like the video I think I put one year later, I didn't, Dollar General didn't even want me or something like that. I obviously made that a year in advance. I, the two, the other video that came out said, I can't remember what it was called. I think I put $2 and 63 cents, something like that. That video was made like 10, 11 months in advance. So some of these videos that I drop, I make months and months and months in advance because they're scheduled out. Um, so when I saw that video and I thought about it, I was like, well, because if I started yesterday, that means by the time you guys would have seen me again, it had been 19 months before I came back. So I'm like, you know what? I've been gone long enough. I've been running long enough. I regret even making that video. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to keep it up anyway. Because it's just I want I want to show you guys where my mind was, how I was feeling. So I keep that video up, but I do regret making it now. I um, actually talked to a buddy yesterday. <clears throat> he had mentioned that he saw it, and I just thought about it. I'm like, you know, yeah, no, it's time to come out of the shadows. And so, yeah, we're back, back at it. I'm gonna try to do better. Oh yeah, one last thing. Um, I am not. Uh, now I know this is going to sound horrible. Guys, I'm not going to read the comments. I stay out of the comment section. It's not good for you. Um, some people love it. I don't mind people talking smack about me. I don't mind people hating on me. I will only read a comment if it is brought to my attention by somebody I care about. Um, but if, but I'm not going to go looking through the comments to see how y'all thought about the videos. I'm sorry, but I've made way too many videos and I make videos way too quickly for me to go down to the comment section every time you guys say something. <clears throat> now, like I said, maybe one day I'll get an editor or somebody and I'll tell them, hey, pull a couple comments. Let me see them. Maybe something like that, just so you guys can get a little bit of shine if you say something nice and get some shines if your or criticism is warranted. But I will have a person in my life who I know has my best interest at heart and then do it that way and then tell them, Hey, we are noticing this. People are saying this and then I'll take it to heart and I'll make some changes if I feel like it's necessary or I'll just respond to it. But I just make, I wait, I make videos too far in advance and I make videos at too large of a quantity for me to come back. Y'all remember at one point I was dropping like one to two to three videos a day so you're talking about 15 videos a week. There's just no way I could read every comment and make a change because by the time I see your comment, I'm already 20 to 30 videos out from that comment. I may have very well forgotten even what, not necessarily what I said because I, my belief probably isn't that far from when I said the video, but for me, to, I'm not going to go back through every single video and be like, oh man, I shouldn't have, sorry, <laughs> it is what it is at this point. I don't have enough time to go back and watch 15 videos and go see what you're talking about 
while I work a full time job. I can't do both. And I'm also still in school. I can't be in school, work a full time job, make these videos and read your comments. I just think at the time. I'm sorry if it hurts your feelings, but comment away. If y'all want to argue with these other in the comments or I don't care if a video gets zero comments, I will never know because I don't know. All I do is upload these videos, make these thumbnails and I move on. By the time I'm done with it, by the time you see a video uploaded, boy, I'm way gone from that video. I'm long gone. Okay, so don't be offended if I never like a video. I mean, like a video. If I never like a comment, because I probably never saw it. Okay, that's still my philosophy. I don't believe. If you want to look at your own comments on your own videos, do that. But I don't believe content creators really should look at the comments because you don't know these mother suckers. You don't know them. I don't know you. Okay, and... Honestly, if I feel like my videos are lacking, I will make the adjustments because I do go back and watch the video right after I made it. I'll listen to a whole video <clears throat> and the views in the YouTube algorithm will tell me everything I need to know. I just look at the numbers and be like, OK, let's make some adjustments. Let's talk more about what the people want to hear. And then once I finally get in that mood, I mean, in that mode, I crank them out and then I, I got to I got to adapt to what you guys adapt to. OK, anyway. No, it was a long video. Eh, maybe a long. I know I'm trying to, some of my videos will be short, but I will try to make long videos too because I think it's good to always sit down and have a little bit of a talk. But uh, by the way, sometimes my videos are going to freeze. Sometimes my videos are going to lag. Because <laughs> I ain't got time to go back and fix all that. I don't. Because I like to talk unedited, unclipped. That way, the context is never missed. Even if I say something wrong or something stupid, I practice, and I told you guys this before, I pretend I'm on live TV every time I make a video. Okay, sometimes you say something dumb, you say something idiotic, but this is the way I want to live. I like the whole live feel. I always enjoyed um, watching live um, TV, right? I like stuff happening right there. I like talking heads. When it comes to sports, when it comes to news, when it comes to politics, when it comes to pop culture, I love it all. I love it live, and that's why I love podcasts. All you get podcasts and stuff like this. Because at the end of the day, I'm trying my best, but the more I do it, the more I can really, really get what I'm trying to say out. But I don't want you guys to ever think I edited something out. <clears throat> because another thing I want is when I ever, if I ever do get an editor, which I really don't need one right now in my life, probably won't need one for years. But if I ever did get an editor, I would tell them the same thing, man, don't cut out anything I said. Don't, and I'll watch it back. And that's why I probably won't have nobody edit my videos because I'd rather listen to myself and watch it back. Uh, but yeah, don't edit what I said. I want it all unfiltered, unclipped. That way, if anybody says I said something, I'm, I'm going to go right back to the video because I got the original source and we're going to watch it together. <laughs> we're going to watch it together. But anyway, much love to y'all. I'm glad to be back. What a journey it's been. It's still got a long ways to go. Still got to keep getting on the grind. Still got to get a healthier weight. Still got to get out of debt. Still got to do better financially. Still got to learn to be a better better worker still got a lot of things i gotta work on i'm not even close to what i want to be um i'm always wanting to help people and that means i've always got to push myself so anyway much love to y'all um, i'll catch y'all in the next few videos y'all should be seeing here soon after this one peace should have pressed the record i, I should have already had my hand ready to go to stop the recording and i didn't now i gotta look stupid by going like this I'm looking for the damn button i hate doing that goodbye